Hi everyone, I'm Kevin, the Technical Manager at CCL Components. Today we're looking at CTs, or current transformers. These small but crucial devices are commonly used in solar and storage systems. Even though they're essential, they're not always well understood. Let's break them down so you can see why they're so important. A CT is a device that's placed around the live incoming cables of an installation. Its job is to measure how much electricity is flying through those cables and convert it into a signal that can be read by your solar and storage system. Your system can see these measurements and track how much power is being sent to or drawn from the grid. In a solar and storage system, the CT provides data that helps your system make smart decisions. For example, if your batteries are charged, your system can decide to use that power instead of pulling more from the grid. Or you may want to top up your batteries when your solar is generating excess power. Without a CT, your solar and storage system will be blind to what's happening with your electricity use. That's why it's such a crucial part of your setup. When selecting a CT for your solar and storage system, there are a few important things to consider. Number one, the input current. The CT must be able to handle the amount of current flowing through your cables. Number two, the output type. Some CTs output a small current proportional to the measured current. This is shown as a ratio, for example, 100 to 5, meaning the CT will output 5 amps when 100 amps is flowing through the measured cable, whereas others will output a low voltage, such as 0.333 volts. Number three, the physical size. This is just as important as the input and output of the CT. You'll need to pick an appropriately sized CT. The dimensions will be listed on a data sheet and typically increase in size along with the input current, but it's always best to check it will fit your installation. And number four, the CT construction. There are three main types, solid core. These are, as the name suggests, a solid continuous ring. To install a solid core, you will need to disconnect the cable that's being measured. However, as you can imagine, it may not always be possible to disconnect the supply. Therefore, a solid core will rarely be the best option. A better option can be split core or CT clamps. These can be opened and clipped around a cable without any disruption. Another option would be flexible CTs, known as Rogowski coils. These are great for use in tight spaces where a solid core or clamp style will not fit. It's also worth noting that the output for CTs cannot be run over great distances. Typically, a maximum of 10 meters is recommended. The most common form of CT is the CT clamp for good reason, as installation is straightforward. First, find your main live supply cable or cables. Open the clamp. Align the arrow on the clamp with the direction of current flow as indicated. Close the CT clamp securely around the cable, ensuring the catch is engaged. And that's it. To recap, when choosing a CT clamp, check your solar and storage device to match the correct output type. Choose the correct amp rating for your electricity supply cables. Make sure the clamp's inner size fits around your cables. And remember to consider the cable length between the CT clamp and your inverter or meter. Getting these details right will save you time on site and ensure your solar and storage system runs smoothly. Have you faced any challenges choosing or installing a CT clamp before? Share your experiences in the comments. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. The CCL team is always here to help you with your next project. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.